Hi, I'm DJ Michael Joseph, and welcome to the Music and Mixing Show. If you've been following us all along with all the other shows we've done, you know that we're going to be changing some of the format for the summer, where some of the shows are going to be pre-recorded and some of them are going to be live. This one is obviously a pre-recorded show. Being that it's pre-recorded, I obviously won't be able to answer questions in the chat. So if you do have any questions about tonight's topic, feel free to drop me a line. I'm on just about every single social media there is, and I'll be able to answer your questions and get back to you as soon as I can. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's get to the show topic. As I've said many times before, that this show is about the mix DJ. And for the modern-day mix DJ, knowing how to edit music and songs is an absolute must. Whether it be just making a short mix or a redrum or a full-blown remix or even one of your own original songs, every DJ needs to know how to edit. And more importantly to this show, needs to know what to use to edit. And that's what we're going to cover tonight. I'm going to be looking at both paid and free programs. And more specifically, I'm going to be focusing on editing programs and not editing apps. But before we get into that, we definitely got to take some time to thank our sponsors for making this show possible. We'll be right back after this short message. Tonight's DJ and TV show is sponsored in part by Electro Voice, DJ Event Planner, ADJ, NLFX Professional, Promo Only, and DJ and TV Insiders. We definitely want to thank our sponsors for making this show possible. And with that said, let's get on to the first part, the paid programs. Now, my first choice for editing software is always Ableton Live. I love it, and I want to thank Ableton for all their help with the program and the plugins. Ableton is pretty much a, a do-all editing program, a DAO, or digital audio workstation. One of the cool things about these programs, and more specifically with Ableton, is that it lets you edit in two different modes. Arrangement view, which is typical to most editing softwares, and session view, that's kind of described like a multi-channel loop mode. Ableton is a powerful tool with endless amounts of add-ons that let you edit and create with virtually no limits. Ableton Live comes in three editions, Intro for $99, Standard for $449, and the one I'm using, Ableton Live Suites, for $749. It is available for both Mac and PC. Next up, we look at Logic Pro. Developed by Apple, Logic Pro owes a lot of its popularity to its native plugins and virtual instruments. For those who are interested in adding more production elements to their music, Logic Pro is a great choice. Like Ableton, Logic is also just about limitless as to what it can do, and is also one of the most affordable DAOs on the market right now, coming in at just $199. The only drawback is that it is Mac only. And finally, for the paid programs, we take a look at FL Studio. Formerly known as Fruity Loops, FL Studio, which I think is a much better name, has become popular because of its ease of use. It has a familiar layout to most dials and has a lot of samples that sound great. Like Ableton, it comes in many different editions. The Fruity Edition for $99, the Producer Edition for $199, the Signature Edition for $299, and the Producer All Plugins Bundle Edition for $899. Like Logic, FL Studio's only drawback is that it's PC only. Now I just want to add one notable mention to this paid list, and that's Cubase. I spent a lot of years using Cubase, and it is an awesome, fully capable DAO that, depending on which version you get, can cost between $99 and $599. Now next up is the free programs. Now the old saying is, you get what you pay for, so many of the programs that I'm going to mention may not be able to get the job done depending on what you need done. Now, you can't talk about free music editing software without mentioning Audacity. Audacity has an extensive suite of built-in tools allowing everything from direct recording to editing pre-recorded files. You can also find a long list of third-party plugins to make it more versatile. Audacity is also known for not needing the most powerful computer specs to run well. And, did I mention it's free? Also, it's available on both PC and Mac. Next up is GarageBand. GarageBand is known for having two very distinct but totally connected parts. One, for making music from an endless list of digital instruments, and two, a very popular studio editing side. If you're familiar with using any of Apple's editing software, learning GarageBand will come fairly easy to you. And even if you're a novice, making music or editing music with GarageBand, I promise you, will be fun learning. Just like Audacity, it's free, and despite what some people say, GarageBand is not just for Mac. 
There's also an unofficial free PC edition online if you lean that way. Now finally on the free list is WavePad. Very similar and used to Audacity, WavePad is packed with a bunch of useful tools. It has immersive editing tools like copy, cut, paste, delete, insert, silence, auto trim, compression, pitch shift, and a whole lot more. It also has a large list of audio effects like amplify, normalize, equalize, envelope, reverb, and echo. What makes WavePad kind of unique and cool is that it also supports DirectX and VST plugins. Besides being free, it is also available on both Mac and PC. A notable mention on the free list is Virtual DJ 8. Now, I know what you're saying. That is neither an editing program nor free, but this is where I say, depending on how you look at it, it is. Virtual DJ 8 has some amazing single wave editing capabilities built right into it that can be accessed even in the free edition, or if you already own it, well, consider it a free edition to your DJ software that you already paid for. Well, that's just about all the software that I'm going to talk about tonight. Now, that is by no means a complete list of all the editing software out there, and if you found something that works for you, go with it. But if you want to give some of these a try, many of them have free versions that you can download and try. Now, as I mentioned at the top of the hour, many of the shows this year are probably going to be pre-recorded. So if you have any questions or comments about the show, feel free to drop me a line. I'm on just about every social media there is, or drop me an email or whatever you like. Next week's show may be live. It may be pre-recorded. I'm not sure yet. But either way, tune in every single week right here on Disc Jockey News, 9 p.m. Eastern Time for music and mixing. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, this is DJ Michael Joseph saying take care and God bless.